is a book review of Outermost, The Art and Life of Jack Goffin by Louise Ortiz. The book came out in 2010 and it's by Nonstop Press. There's approximately about 160 pages, 170 pages to be fair to it. And it's in black and white and colour all the way through. What is it? Well, it's the work of a brilliant science fiction artist. Obviously produced other things than that, I'm quite certain. But this book is all science fiction. So lots and lots. Obviously there are some sketches there. Obviously they're not science fiction particularly. Lots of text, obviously giving lots of detail about his life. But also lots and lots of examples of the covers. So there it comes. Oh, I'm just going to show you the spine. So there's the spine of the book as well. And you can see how it holds. It's absolutely fine. And you've got lots and lots of brilliant sketches here. You've got sketch work. So he was working in 1940s, 1950s, 60s, etc. Lots of like galaxy. Loved those covers. Loved the galaxy mags. I wasn't around in the 50s, but I still bought quite a lot of these old uh, covers. And they're fairly cheap, reasonably priced. You can find copies of those. Just love the colours as well. Just the colour schemes. Just beautiful. That's one thing always I love about 50s and 60s. Game Galaxy again. Galaxy. And you've got all these paperbacks. You've got the uh, Andre Norton. Lots and lots of science fiction ones. There's E. Doc Smith. And The Under People by Gordwain and Smith. I love Gordwain and Smith. Just very unusual style, but just absolutely superb writer. Galaxy, fantasy science fiction. The depressing thing about this, for me, is, of course, if you're in the States, it's a lot easier because, of course, we, most of these books were in the States. This one, Turning On by Damon Knight. And it's got how he built it up. So you've got different, obviously, examples. And then you've got the finished work. Obviously, Ace. And you can, sadly, there's not any really brilliant bookshop in the UK or place where you can get all these old books. One time I used to be, there was one in Holloway Road where you were, it was Fantasy Centre and you could find millions of these sort of books, Ace books especially. Sadly, that doesn't exist anymore. One against the Legion. And the covers are just brilliant. Obviously, you can still get the books, but you get them a more up-to-date book or it's not the same. Sometimes you see a cover here and you think, yes, I want that cover. And then you go and look for it. Very... Very tricky to find. Of course, you can find them from the States, but then you've got the uh, problems of uh, the price and the postage, which is just quite often crazy. But again, you've got lots of examples of there. Lots of sketches, of course, drawings there. Amazing science fiction. You've got also Samuel Delaney, Arlen Ellison. Got various characters there. Some the writers. Science fiction bestsellers list, and there's a huge amount. Worlds of science fiction, Al Gold, and there's just example after example of just absolutely beautiful. This one, uh, just glorious. And then all the way through, obviously, to the index in the back. So, this is just an absolutely beautiful book. Now, not all of them, I say, are science fiction. It's got, I just know one that clearly isn't. Stuck. Science fiction, story of Gandhi. Don't think it's anything to do with science fiction. So, Secret of the Marauder Satellite, international science fiction. There's also some obviously comic or slash cartoon work there. Ari e. Howard, Almerick. Some of these are absolutely beautiful. I just love the colours as well. The colour scheme is just great. And this is an absolutely beautiful book. If you love Science fiction art, especially the 50s and 60s and 70s, this book is definitely a must buy. So, totally, totally recommended book. Outermost, absolutely superb. Love this book.